All right, so in the previous video, we played around with the farm things with fake Lego from the supermarket. Uh, perfectly fine, like, imitation Lego, uh, which I'm going to donate to children at some point. But uh, let's make a Lego version. It's kind of like a Lego version, isn't it? Like, this is another one of the, the latest new series things. But let's try and be a bit adventurous and use uh, a knife thing to cut this open. That made my that made my 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 back shiver a little bit. Like you know, it's kind of like that um, scraping a blackboard thing. But I don't like. I feel funny around knives, but that wasn't too bad. Um, pointy things always make me feel a bit anxious, but that's okay. And cardboard, like cutting some things, don't cause any problems. Uh, that's what we're going to make. It's a tractor with a trailer. So it's exactly what we've just built, but with less pieces. Uh, but a squirrel, um, squirrel, squirrel is an interesting word because apparently that's, I look at <laughs> these stupid question things that they put on that Quora or whatever it's called website. Uh, one of them, there was something, a discussion about what words uh, are hard for non-English speakers to say or something along those lines and squirrel came up as like a word that German speakers find difficult but you know actually saying it out loud uh, I, I realized that actually it is a tricky word to pull off isn't it the word squirrel uh, as soon as you say it As soon as you say it, you kind of feel a little bit like you've said it wrong. So, <laughs> okay, let's do this thing anyhow. They're not going to say it too many times. Uh, but there they are. This is actually my first squirrel. So it goes with the little otters from the previous one, uh, which I've just moved slightly out of the way so it's not sitting on the desk. So I can't bring that in for today's... Um, shenanigans and all right now we're gonna put that one there how fast can I do this I want to do this quite fast um, where's this piece uh, there you are so in the previous video I took about my woodworking that was quite fun what else was I going to talk about I can't remember so I've got back problems again, but it's the same as last time. I think I really put myself, pulled a muscle or something. Um, but massaging does help, but it's hard to do it on yourself. Um, so it's like, oh, I've just got to learn to take a bit more care of myself and stop carrying too much weight. Um, because I've had a couple, couple, about a month or two of it actually being quite fine. Maybe it's because I've started running again. Uh, maybe it's the running that's causing the problem. I don't, I hope not. <laughs> I just want to go back to running. A few days ago, I did something I don't normally do. I got up and I went for a run basically the first thing in the morning after I'd had a shower. Uh, which I'm sure would annoy some people because they're like, well, why would you do that? And it's like, because I like to have a shower the very first thing in the morning and I don't really, <laughs> I'm not really the kind of person to bother having a shower any other time of the day. Is I have it the first thing in the morning and that's just the way it goes. Um, so I did that and went for a run straight afterwards, which is pretty clever, but I don't normally get up, I don't normally go for a run first thing in the morning for various reasons, uh, but it actually isn't too bad. Uh, but I've got like leg problems, ankle problems still, and it's not really, I don't feel like it's going to heal up if I keep running. I feel like it's at the point where it's not going to get any worse if I keep running. Maybe. Like it feels pretty stable, but it doesn't feel, like what the heck is this? Where's this piece gone? I don't have this piece. What? What? Oh, there it is. There is a, there is a couple of pieces in here that um, uh, I don't think I've seen before. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to go for a run tomorrow morning, hopefully. 
uh, that would be good. It's quite productive to do a run first thing in the morning. Um, but there are some, look at this, this is the same kind of piece they use in this one here. It's like, they've like, they've like stolen, I don't know if you can see, they've stolen the idea of using this piece. Um, this is basically a ripoff of Countdown or of Woolworth's farm bricks, isn't it? <laughs> Very disappointing there, Lego. Uh, right. And there. And there. So, what are we doing? All right. And in other news, I don't think there's much else I had to I have to to say at the moment. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> It'll be the first time I've literally got nothing to say on this channel. Uh, but this is going along fun. If I if I if I say that, of course, then after I've, I have to do this twice. Oh, that's a bit rude. Um, uh, I will promptly think of all the things that I was going to mention to to people, but then um, I didn't. Um, but I haven't. I was going to get the rest of the uh, the rest of the this year this year's cheap Lego sets today, but. I didn't get around to it. And I keep going, oh, i got to go back and get them all. And it's like, why? They've just come out. They're not going to go anywhere. They're not going to sell out. I just remember that I was supposed to look up. Oh. Well, that was a bit weird. Um, things just falling over. Um, I don't really want to buy any more things. This is the problem. I've got, I haven't got any room for anything. And I'm being pretty slow at my plan of building a shed in the backyard. <laughs> Like, I don't know how if that's going to happen anytime soon. I have to start building the. It's just the base that's really the problem, right? It's like I have to work out how to build the base in a way that I can manage. But I think I can. Anyway, what was I going to say? Oh, I was supposed to look up. I went to the toy shop, past the toy shop, to see if they had any cheap Lego. But they don't normally have cheap Lego. They have expensive Lego. But they did actually have Lego and special. So, but anyway. They had Risk Junior, which I hadn't seen before. Like, you know, they have the Risk Cluedo Junior and the Monopoly Junior versions. I was supposed to look up online, like, how, like, what kind of game is Risk Junior? How, how does it translate? Because I feel like that's a good game to play with children, even though I haven't played Risk since I was, since for 20 years or something. Uh, it might be fun. And the, the Junior version might be even more enjoyable than the normal version. I don't know. Um, right, so this piece again. So this is the thing. So this piece, uh, I just remind. This reminds me. I think I threw the box out for it just recently. The the last year's cheapy four plus set. There was one with. The, I mentioned the rat that I got it because they had the rat, and I thought they'd run out in the shop, and they hadn't run out in the shop. They actually had quite a few, but that had that had this exact same piece on it. Uh, I think. <laughs> But now I'm kind of like, did it? Did it really? Was it just a similar piece? But it was a yellow little vehicle, and I just felt like it was kind of like, if you set, if you look at it, you can sort of like squint your eyes. That all of these sets, they sort of have like counterparts in last year. They're like basically remakes, but they look very different. <laughs> uh, I really like this. I like I like the little uh, the the logo the logo thing at the front. What's what's up with this? Are we going to do the two wheels separately? We are. Uh, there's an awful lot of wheels here, aren't there? There's, there's six whole wheels. Uh, so this is this is a I think this is a good value set. This is a larger box than the other one. It's one of those confusing things. It's like this box is bigger than the box for the uh, other set that I did in the previous video, which I didn't have the box still here. So here's this box right from the last one. And you can see, and it's like, well, look at that. It's way thicker for this box. Uh, so it feels like you're getting a lot more value. <laughs> Breaking things there. Uh, then I think it's just because of this piece. It's just a bit chunky, or the wheels. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to put the other set somewhere else. <laughs> Not very. This is what you get when you tidy your desk. You don't have you don't have everything thickening uh, within arm's reach. Uh, so that goes there, 
and it goes there. And that was that was you can make oh no you can't they're a different kind of attachment thing. Those are the wheels. We haven't put a head on yet. Uh or his, is it his? I don't know why I keep thinking it was a woman. Uh but they don't have but they do have a hat. There we go. Right, I should have actually at least kept the farm people and compared them. They're on the floor somewhere, they're not very far away, they're in a plastic bag. So it's not like I just willy nilly threw them out the window. Uh, I feel like there should actually be one still sitting on the table somewhere. Because I was going to go through, once I've got all the farm things done, and compare every single... Because they've got quite a few characters, I can't find any. That's a bit, that's a bit tricky. Um, Alright, we're doing this. We're going to finish this off. Because it's getting late and I need to go to sleep. And then this one. So the one first thing about this trailer is it's only got two wheels, whereas the other one has four wheels. And that one goes there. And they've got this double thing. How many times do you get to get like that? It's like it is a bit strange to have because they could just put two. You know, they normally have the. It's a strange piece to make, really, isn't it? Like I don't know. And that one goes, this one could attach to the trailer. Uh, so we could we could just stick it on this. <laughs> ah, there we go. So lots of options are going to come up when we actually finish this. And there's, there's some really cool pieces I can see that I'm not going to talk about until the very moment that they are utilized. Uh, and look at this, you don't, you don't, you don't even actually, like... <laughs> Why could this not just be a standard, a standard piece? Like, like why? Is it, is it just because like for young people, if they actually had like a standard, you know, two by four piece, it would be too hard to undo. And that they're making it so that children with their tiny little hands and that are so weak, their tiny weakling little hands, can actually take it apart again. Because it seems like, well, if they can't, if they can't take this off, they're not going to get very far with the rest of it. I don't know. I don't know. That just doesn't make any sense. Maybe they just made these and they were like, well, we've built it now. We've got to use it for something. Uh, like, it was probably like, you know, Dave, the peacemaker person, who was like, we should do this. And then they listened to them and they're like, why, why did we make that? Like, what was the point of that? What was the point? Well, actually, I think the real answer is coming up in a second. The real answer is they're using one here, and it's probably just cheaper to use the same one, because right? then they don't have to have. Because then they'd have to have another one. You don't even see what color it is, though. But I don't know, like, you know, the, like, I'm guessing that the way that they do, because they have to assemble it, so they got all the parts together, and it's probably cheaper just to stick with two of the same, one that's slightly more complicated, than it is to get one of each, maybe, who knows. <clears throat> Somebody did ask, I think, I, I, I saw a Reddit post in a Lego-related Thing, and somebody asked the question. Oh, that's right. It was a thing. It was a piece. Uh, well, I have to talk about this piece, don't I? The piece that has, you know, it's a one, it's a one, one stud, but three high. It has a cert hole in the middle, uh, and that was being used in a set in a way that you never ever saw the hole. <laughs> and they were like, "Why? Why would you do this?" Um, and I didn't actually read the answers. Like my my answer would be, they just had a whole bunch of extra hole pieces, or they'd use that piece elsewhere. And again, the same thing. It's cheaper to have, you know, four hole pieces than it is to have two hole pieces and two pieces without holes in them. More hole pieces um, than that. So, but I didn't read that. Maybe somebody knows the actual answer. So anyway, now we're going to make this thing, and we've got. So these pieces are interesting because they're too high. They're two stud high pieces. Uh, and it's like, well, that's neat. <laughs> I don't think I've had these before. So you get something neat out of these. Uh, and that can go, and it's way off. 
way off. But it doesn't matter. And you get a ladybird, ladybug, whatever you want to call them. And you get a supply of carrots, sticks, but these aren't carrots. I was thinking about this when I saw this in the shop. I'm like, what is this actually meant to be? Uh, are they just planting green things? And these are green things growing, but they're not actually carrots, or are they like onions or something that are growing in the ground? Spring onions. And turning the page, that goes in there. That's all we've got. They haven't got a lot of food. It just sits on the corner like that. But they have a tree. I thought that was neat. Though I, I, I always lament the fact that it's kind of hard to get the normal size trees. You only get the little tiny trees these days. <laughs> it's like they even have like a little a little tiny bag with parts at the at the Lego shop and they're just like, you know, some few other plants and they've got two little tiny trees. I was gonna get one of those, but it's like, well, I want a normal size tree. I want the old and I want the I want the round tree from like the old days. Um, but this is quite good. Like you do get some fun things, and then you get a good old-fashioned broom, and one more exciting piece. There is what's the red? Oh, that's right. We get that, and then they've got a watering can. So the watering can is neat, neatos. Um, but we've got, of course, a spare ladybug, and a spare carrot, and a spare orange light. But you also get. A uh, little acorn. I don't think it's going to show up on the camera. Look at that, it's an acorn. And so you get two acorns for your for the squirrel who just happens to be standing by. Which I don't know. Is that normal for squirrels? Because like, why is there an acorn? Why do, this is like a field, and they're like it doesn't make any sense. Like I mean, they're just going out to the field and then they're going to water <laughs> this, but. I think this thing gives it away, right? Because that this is meant to be the plant. So it must be like an onion or something. They're an onion farmer. Um, but yeah, I thought it was quite fun. That's quite fun. But anyway, just just stick it together. This is the this is the part we're all here for, which is that. So they've kind of changed. Does that actually fit? It probably does. So there we go, and we can link this one up to here. Though they're not quite the same height, so the front wheels of the tractor aren't touching the ground. But that's not what it's meant for. <laughs> like it's just lot, literally not. Um, so that one can go there. We can put the tree back on. They can sit inside there with their watering can, and we can get the actual tractor out and we can stick this here. And so, all right, that's what they look like on the side. That's what they look like on the side. Whoop. And whoop. don't lose my acorns. Those are the best things in the world. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> this is a more complicated model. I think, looking at it, they are the same, kind, the same kind of wheels. At the back, they've got the same kind of wheels. But at the front, they've got different, different size. But, anyway, both fun. Nothing else to say. I think this year's cheapy um, city sets are quite neat so far. So anyway, thanks for thanks for watching. I have to go to sleep. <laughs> Bye.